All right, is everybody here? All right. Let me just have your attention for a moment. You want to come in? Man, I would love to. You can. I would love to. What's your name? Miracle. Miracle. Yes. I've always wanted to baptize a miracle. <laughs> right. Just sit right there, Miracle, and you'll be the first one. I'm going to have to have two people to baptize you. <laughs> All right. be a miracle you get you back up. All right, let me, uh, let me just have your attention now. There is, it's important to hear this. It's, it's a theological statement that's significant for you. There is nothing magical about the waters of the Jordan River. That's not why we're here. The two things. One is to commemorate both the baptism of Christ himself and the fact that we are summoned into the waters of baptism. It is a symbol of two things. One is cleanse, cleansing, to wash away sin. The second is a new life because, in effect, while you are under that water, you experience a brief moment of death. The three of us can hold you down long enough and we can make it real. So, so there is a sense in which, not just symbolically, but to an extent, you experience a brief moment of death. That when you come up again, you are summoned to a live a new life. Romans chapter 6 says, what shall we say then? Shall we continue in sin that grace may abound? God forbid. For know you not that as many of you as are baptized into Christ are also baptized into his death. That as he was raised up to newness of life, you also are raised up to newness of life. So I will only ask you these questions. The first is, are you being baptized of your own free will? That is to say, your husband, and no one else is, is impressing this on you. If you're being baptized of your own free will, say, I am. The second is, do you express uh, your faith solely, wholly in the cleansing blood of Christ? Not in good works, not in religion, not in church membership, but are you trusting only in the cleansing blood of Christ? If you are saved, by His grace I am. By His grace I am. And do you, according to the grace that is given unto you, covenant to live a new life when you come from the waters of baptism? If you do say, by God's grace I do. All right then, if you will come one at a time, right around this way, come here, and we'll do the baptism, and then you'll go out this side, all right? And you're going to be first, Pastor. If I can keep from falling down. Now watch what he does. So every time, hold your nose like that, and your hand there, and then I'll baptize you. According to your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ, I baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. According to your faith, I baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son. Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. Thank you. All right. Amen. I got to go, guys. We had to cut out. Too. Okay, just come on so you're uh, making a line. Right? Miracle, we'll fit you in. I can. I can. You won't notice that you're wet. <laughs> I don't care. I'm dry in the heat. I know I'm tired. No, it's not that. We have to look nasty. Oh, we don't have to. Oh, we don't have to. Oh, I put
Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If you bend your knees a little bit, it'll help us. Okay. <laughs> 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 It's chilly. Come on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. Hallelujah. Everybody, all right, well, rejoice. Yeah. Yeah. 